soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In World War II, the heavy lift airplane of the day was the C-47. Operation Overlord took over 800 C-47s and used them to deliver over 13,000 troops behind enemy lines. When the main invasion was launched, this airplane was the airplane that led that group. It's been quoted several times, if you're not afraid, you just don't understand. We do know the guys flying this airplane were 20 and 21 years old. We do know that the 28 troopers in the back were younger. They were farm kids and city kids and uh, all kids that were plucked out of their situation and shoved through a very accelerated pilot training program or paratrooping program. Within a year, they were flying these airplanes in uh, occupied territory over Europe. They were regular, everyday Americans who were called upon to serve at a time when our country needed their service, and they stepped up and they did it. What we're doing here is, is not about the functionality of the airplane, it's about the history of the airplane. Of course, there's the quote out there that those that do not uh, remember history are doomed to relive it, and I believe that. I've talked to a lot of veterans in the last 30 years flying these airplanes, and to a person, they aren't interested in what this means to them. They're interested in the young people of America today know their stories so that their sacrifice was not in vain. And so anybody that wants anything bad enough and is willing to commit and work for it can accomplish it because of the freedoms that we enjoy, because of the sacrifices and the courage of the men and women who built and flew these airplanes. In the short period of five or six years, we built 100,000 plus airplanes. And we deployed them across the oceans and we laid it all on the line and it worked. Anybody that's ever been in a uh, combat or anything or war knows that uh, it, it is not something to be taken lightly or anything else. It's terrible. So you want to, uh, you have to do it. You want to do it and get out of it and be done with it. And hopefully the next morning when the sun comes up, the whole place is better off. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. <laughs>